Once the model classification is done, we can proceed with the model filtering. ARCHICAD can filter and display only the core of composite elements with a single click. All we need to do is open the Partial Structure Display dialog to start the model filtering. We will choose the Core of Load Bearing Elements Only option to filter all composite structures. This will hide all non-load bearing layers of composite structures and also hide all the elements that are classified as non-load bearing. The filtered model will be displayed in seconds on the screen. Now only the building skeleton is visible and only the load bearing elements are displayed. The model looks fine at first sight. However, if we have a closer look, we can see that some partition walls are also displayed by mistake. This can happen by mistake in the design practice. If we open the settings dialog of any of these partitions, we can see that they are classified as load-bearing elements. Let's go ahead and modify the classification of these partitions. First, we will select all the partition walls in the project in one step. For this, we will use the Find and Select feature of ARCHICAD. All we need to do is copy the properties of any of the partition walls, and all elements with similar properties can be selected. We can select all walls that are located on the partition wall layer with a single click. Now, let's open the Wall Selection Settings dialog and change the load bearing classification of these partitions. In a couple of seconds, the 3D view is refreshed and now everything is correct. No more partition walls are visible on the screen. The architectural model is correctly filtered, so only the load bearing elements are visible. We can proceed with exporting the structural elements as an IFC file for the structural engineer. Before proceeding, we can select and send only certain sections of stories to the structural engineer. So let's open Find and Select again. We want to select only those load bearing elements which are visible on a particular section of the project. Only the desired elements are selected so we can proceed with the IFC file export. We use IFC because this is the only internationally acknowledged open BIM model file standard. ARCHICAD is shipped with numerous preset custom IFC templates for the most commonly used structural applications. For now, we will select the Tecla Structures IFC translator from the list and save the project. Let's send the exported IFC file to Michael Evans, who is a structural expert. He will be using Tecla structures for the structural design. Let's switch to Michael Evans' screen in Helsinki, Finland. Tecla Corporation develops and markets software products and related services that make customers' core business processes more effective, enable their further development, and enhance customers' competitiveness. Tecla software products are used in building and construction, energy distribution, and infrastructure management. Tecla Structures belongs to the Building and Construction Product Group. Tecla Corporation was established in 1966 and has been listed in the Helsinki Stock Exchange since the year 2000. Tecla software products are sold in the international market to clearly defined customer segments and are meant for professional use. Tecla Corporation is also a global company. Tecla software products are available in 13 language versions and in over 30 localized environments for engineers. The ingenuity of Tecla's products is in their model-based technology and Tecla is an international forerunner in this field. Tecla has decades of experience in select customer industries. Tecla Structures is the first building information modeling, or BIM, software covering the entire structural design process from conceptual design to detailing, fabrication, and construction, 
as well as the planning and management of fabrication and construction from the structural side. In this presentation, we will focus on the architectural integration and on the site management collaboration aspects of Tecla structures. Now that we've got the IFC file from the architect using ARCHICAD, what we can do is use that within Tecla structures as a reference object. So now we're just going to bring in the IFC file that's just been created, as you can see here, and again, all the different formats we can work with. All we need to do is agree, as engineers, the location where we bring that particular file in. In this case, we'll work with a starting point of 0000, which brings in the reference file, as you can see. Once we bring the reference file in, we have a number of options. We can use that reference file as a basis to start creating the structural model. So if we want to create a structural slab, as an example, we can simply pick out the points to define the shape of the slab we want to work with. The alternative is to convert some of these objects using the IFC converter tool in Tecla Structures. So, rather than actually recreating things, we can take the elements, like this column, which has its properties coming in from the IFC file through ARCHICAD. Then we can begin to convert these objects as we need them. The object has been converted, and here we see the Tecla Structures Converted Part Report, which allows us to further classify the object as a real structural object. That means we can add additional classifications, such as material grades and other attributes needed for Tecla Structures, to allow us to continue working with this object as an engineer. Let's now turn off the load-bearing model. We can also work on the full reference file by turning on the model, just to show that we're not working with the cut-down model. We can start to slice the model and work on particular elements. Looking at the objects that are in there, it doesn't have to just be the structural objects that are in there. In this case, we're actually looking at some windows that we brought in from ARCHICAD. We can use and filter those within Tecla structures. Now that we've got our elements, we will turn off the reference file again and make that hidden. We are now working with a number of different reference files. This is a column we actually converted before. Now we will delete that because we already have the model we want to work with in Tecla. We convert the objects into native Tecla objects, including the slabs, etc. We'll work with the various slabs and columns we have. As engineers, we'll continue to develop those a bit further, creating either general arrangement drawings or adding additional details to it. Once we've created that, we can create a series of drawings for different levels, such as the foundation plan, for example, created automatically from those objects that we converted from ARCHICAD already. We can work with different levels, sections, or elevations created automatically from those objects that we've converted from Tecla. As engineers, we would continue to embellish these as we work more and more on the project. We can also add additional details. We can add slab reinforcements, for example. We can also add some starter bars to this particular column. Just select the slab, and then the column, and the necessary reinforcement bars are created. We can also decide about the position of the rebar, whether it's on the edge of the slab, as you saw, or whether it's some of the columns in the center of the slab. We can continue and refine the details of reinforcement at the other columns as well, and add even more details. We can change the transparency of the model elements. Now you can see all the reinforcement within the load-bearing elements. We use more components from Tecla to add even more detail. We pick the columns we want to add more detail to, as you can see here. Again, we can change the transparency to add reinforcement, including extending the bars through the actual slab of the next particular level, and obviously continuing into the column above it. As engineers, 
we would continue to work with this particular model, creating perhaps reports, schedules, and running clash detection, so we can bring in the mechanical models, the HVAC models. We can also continue to work with and create even more detailed drawings. For example, we can take this column here and create more drawings. Let's look at the various types of drawings that we can create. For example, a reinforcement drawing. Of that particular element, we need to do the numbering to bring it up to date. The numbering comes through and tells us we've created one drawing, which we can then open up along with the GA drawings we created earlier. We now also have a drawing of the reinforcement of that particular element, including those bars that were extended into the column above it. This also includes the schedules, the bar positions, the diameters, the numbers, and so on. Continuing to work with the model, not necessarily just as an engineer, but maybe as a contractor looking at the model, looking at how he will schedule this level of information within Tecla structures, we can work with the model organizer. Here you can see the relevant different stories set up already. They can start to look at working on the different stories. They can start to look at the construction sequencing. Working our way through the model, we can start to categorize. Just look at the column elements, slab elements, reinforcements. Taking it one step further, we would start to work with the task manager. Looking at the different elements associated with the construction, which would be things like form work, the reinforcements. Here we've actually tied in the various elements associated with that particular foundation to ground floor level. We've added the tasks associated with it as well as duration and type of task. It also includes, obviously, the production rates associated with the particular model. As a result, we can create accurate and very detailed information to be able to develop the schedules that enable pre-construction planning. Continuing with the ability to use this model further downstream, we can prepare reports, whether it's rebar bending schedules, and so on. Let's perhaps look at the information we can use for setting out surveying information. Here we could use layout points, layout lines. As you can see, by using the information in the model, we can create these layout points that can then be used by surveying equipment. The layout manager will automatically recognize those three points that we've created. The ability here is to export the information to Trimble Machinery, to the job file, and to the machinery located on site. This is the same information that came from the original architectural model into Tecla structures, converted, used to create all the manufacturing drawings, the fabrication drawings, if it was steel work as it was in this case, or actually material reports, general arrangement drawings. We can also use the information to create analysis design models. For example, we could take one particular floor, the flat slab that we're working with, export it out to an analysis design application, and there you can see the meshing in this case. This all just shows how the information that's come in is used within the structural engineering environment, within the contractor's environment, for a number of different purposes. If we make any changes, as we have done, all we need to do is to export it back to ARCHICAD. By clicking on the Export to ARCHICAD option, we can choose the name of the file. Then we can also choose the location of the file. We can decide about including details, such as bolts or rebars, in the exported file. And that will export that particular IFC file, which we can then send directly back to the architect. Let's switch back to ARCHICAD and merge the previously created IFC file to the architectural design. We will also see how to track and visualize all the changes that the structural engineer made. Before merging the IFC file, we should select the appropriate IFC translator. In our case, we will select the Tecla Structures translator from the list.